All right, I'm up here in the stand. This is my view. Right down here, I've got a uh, a holly tree. There's a big scrape right there underneath that that the deer use year round. Just the kind you want to find. Down here in the swamp, just beyond all these trees and everything is marsh. This is the same marsh where I put the other stand. The other stand that I put up, the ladder stand that I put up a couple weeks ago, is about 300 yards south of me. So, I got a lot of traffic in here. Believe it or not, that's tidal right there. It comes, you can find fiddler crabs down there sometimes. It's drainage, natural drainage. Water comes from off in this direction here. It comes in and feeds into this creek that's down here. So this is a great place. Uh, if you look through here, there's a food plot where I killed. You can barely see the feeder. No, that's not the feeder, that's the post. The feeder's hidden behind this clump of trees right here. But that's the little food plot where I killed three with a bow last year, bow hunting. Uh, so a lot of times you have deer that skirt around that kind of thing. I know I've got a couple of good bucks that are in here. I've gotten pictures of them down here in this swamp. They don't ever show up around the food plots or the feeders, so i got to get down here. This is the same tree I set up in a couple of years ago. The hurricane came through and just knocked everything down out in here. And it, it really, you can see a lot of down trees over here, off through those trees right there. It's just, it's a mess in here. It's not as bad as it was. It took a while for deer to start coming back through here like they used to. So, I ended up pulling that stand and didn't, didn't, didn't get to hunt down here. So, I'm excited to be back in here. Uh, I hope I can get a shot at a good one right here. So anyway, let me show you a little tip. When you're using hang-on stands, this, you can see this is a guide gear stand. They're not real expensive, about, about 80 bucks, I wanna say. Always put me a piece of line on the bottom of the seat. And I've always got a screw-in step right here that's where I hang my bag when I get up here to hunt. My bag that's got everything in the world in it, the cameras and water and thermocell, all the kind of things that you got to have, and I hang that right here behind me within easy reach. Now, my top step, as you can see, is about six inches higher than the platform itself on the back side of the tree, which makes it just perfect for stepping off onto the stand here and I use another screw in step back here which is just the right level for me to reach up and grab a hold of and have a hand hold to hold on to when I'm stepping off onto the stand and of course I'm tied off all the time as you can see I got the safety line on here so that's uh the tip for today with hang on stands carry you some screw in steps and put them in strategic locations and always put your safety line up above your head so it's always almost taut when you're sitting in the stand it'll keep you safe so there you go hope the next time you see me from this stand right here i hope it's to get down and go put my hands on a big one so there you go i'm using climbing sticks these are these particular ones are guide gear they're not too expensive. They're about 50 bucks a pair, a set for the 20 footers. And one of the good things about them is that you can uh, you notice they're not exactly straight going up the tree. But everywhere there's a pin in them. You see how it's kind of bent right there? There's just enough play in those things. That allows you to do that, but to attach them to a tree that's not perfectly straight. So, 
as you can see, they don't go exactly straight up the tree. So, being true to form, everything that could possibly go wrong did. Everything that can get tangled up when you're doing it will. This tree right here. My phone fell off my side and fell over here on the ground. I came down to get it and when I, le I leaned, my, put my hand on that tree to lean against it. And of course the tree breaks and falls over. And uh, I darn near busted my behind right there. So, <laughs> like I say, me and Murphy are very well acquainted. So, anyway, she's up. I will have to come back. I will have to come back just before the season and put the rest of my accessories in the tree. Things like my camera holders and camera arms and bow holder. A couple of little items like that. I don't usually even put the safety lines up till then, but I decided I'd go ahead and put them up. So, there you go.